Howdy folks! This video is from a show I recently did on Cameron Bertuzzi's channel, Capturing Christianity. If you like it, do all the YouTube things to let YouTube know to show the video to others. Be sure to like, comment, and share the video. And I am trying to grow my channel, so be sure and subscribe and hit the bell notification. Don't forget to check out Capturing Christianity and support the work that Cameron is doing there. Hope you enjoy this. From Rebecca, God bless your family and ministry. Thank you so much. Uh, what is the most convincing alien abduction story you know of? We have no, we have one down here in Pascagoula. Is that how you mm -hmm. say that? That yeah, seems Pascagoula, legit. Where, mm -hmm. That seems legit. Where two men claim to have been taken while fishing on the river. Yeah. Um, so the Pascagoula event happened in 1973, and it is one of the more convincing ones. Um, I'm, I, like I said, I'm not persuaded by any of these, but that one is harder Can to you tell explain. Us, yeah, tell yeah. us the details on that so, one. So there are two guys, uh, Calvin um, Hickson, and their last names were Parker and Hickson. Um, they were an uncle Should and nephew. Should I assume that you've done an episode on this? Oh, yeah, I did an episode okay. on this. Um, and they worked at a, at a shipyard, and then after work, they would go fishing. And so they went fishing, and while they were fishing, a craft of some kind with lights came down behind them, and they were independently abducted by things that looked kind of like robots. They were taken into separate compartments of the craft and given an examination, and then they were let go. And they thought, well, what if this is part of an invasion? We should report this to the authorities. So they called the Air Force. They'd heard about Project Blue Book. And so they called an, an, a Keesler Air Force base nearby in, in Mississippi. And they were told, sorry, Project Blue Book has been shut down. We no longer do that because it was shut down in 1970. They were three years too late. Um we no longer do that, but you can contact the civil authorities if you want. So they called the local sheriff, and the 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 sheriff sent some police officers to bring them down to the station, and they they checked to see are these guys drunk. Well, one of them had had one beer, but neither one of them was drunk. They also did something interesting, which is because the guys were really freaked out, especially uh, Calvin Parker, the younger of the two. Um, he, uh, Charlie Hickson, that was the name of the other guy. And um, Calvin was really freaked out by all this. He was, he was like, he was very young. He was like less than 20 years old, I think, at the time. And so they, they interviewed them separately about what they'd seen. And then they put them together in a room and left them alone. And what they didn't know was that the police had left a recorder, a tape recorder, in the room with them that was hidden. So they were hoping that one of them would spill the beans about this prank they're playing on the police, and mm -hmm. then they could dismiss the whole thing and maybe even prosecute for wasting police time. Mm -hmm. But they didn't. They, they continued to be just as freaked out while the police were out of the room as they were when the police were in the room. Neither one of them said anything to incriminate themselves. They they sounded like, and you can even listen to the tape, because um, it still exists, they they sounded like they believed what it just what they just reported had happened to them. So this um, has some evidence in its favor that other cases don't, but I'm still not persuaded 100%. Hang on just a second. And uh, I do think it's a it's a question, it's a case I'm open-minded about, but I have yet to find an abduction case that fully convinces me. I think... What, yeah, like, so why are you still skeptical on this one? Well, it's just, I, there's... It, partly it's because of things that happened later on. Um, not that radically altered the, the evidence in any way, but um, but this is still a, a case. This is a this is a case report from two guys who seem credible, but we don't have independent verification. They're related to each other. They could be making up a story. You know, it's not like we have um, people who are not related 
to them testifying to the same thing. Although there has been some interesting work done recently on additional witnesses who, even if they didn't see Parker and Hickson get abducted themselves, there were people reporting seeing things like the craft that they claim abducted them in in proximity in space and time to the abduction. Um, you know, in order to be fully convinced, I need something that goes beyond a personal story. Um, I'm open to personal stories being true, but I would want to see something physical and measurable that hmm. we don't have in this case. I've actually there got are, uh, the, uh, mm -hmm. the recording of them pulled up. Do you have time yeah. to listen to it? Oh, it's like 20 minutes long. Okay, never, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maybe we'll just suggest people go listen to it on their own. Yeah. There are other cases I've looked at of abductions that I think are not as good as this one. I don't think the Betty and Barney Hill abduction from the 1960s is as good as this. Um, I think that has a purely natural explanation. I'm also going to be looking at uh, Whitley Strieber's reported encounters with aliens from his book Communion. I have an episode coming up on that. And I'm, I'm not accusing Whitley of lying, but I think he was misperceiving naturally explainable phenomena. And before we go, just a reminder to do all those great YouTube things. You can help my channel grow by liking, commenting, and sharing the video. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you always get notified when I have a new video. These days, I have multiple videos coming out every week. Thanks so much, and God bless you.